This is the 30th of December, 2015. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. This is a sample of the yeast uh, after it had been going, going through the screw press and it's been kept refrigerated. But you can see how it settles out. We are going to take a, a five gallon pail of the same material, stir it up and run it through a fiber filter with a sleeve with uh, 43 micron in it. That's a fine filtration. 43 micron is a nominal rating. Here's the fiber filter we're going to use. Uh, Dan is going to raise the elevation a couple notches. Um, it's designed for continuous flow, but we're just going to pour in a bucket. So we're using one of these funnels. Uh, this is a Vincent funnel. Uh, there's an infinite supply of them. They're abandoned all over the place, up and down the highways of America. Uh, so that's our funnel. We ship one out with each machine when they're going to run testing. sludge out the discharge here because we don't have enough. It takes a lot of flow. There's what we're putting in. And here's you see how it's being filtered coming out. It's pretty cool down there. The fabric does not blind because of the vibration. You see it's quivering. And with that quivering the fabric will not blind. I'm counting on the solid staying inside. Try pouring a little faster Bill. Okay, slow down. You see the sort of sludge of wood we separated. Uh, we have enough flow to go steadily. Is that the whole bucket? Yeah. Yeah. We did our bucket. So now we can turn it off and we'll see what we caught. The other day on yours. Okay, we've uh, just sampled the machine to see what we caught inside. We'll run a solids con content on it, but that's what was staying behind. I hate to admit it, but it looks like Fred may have been right. This was our filtrate, and this was sludge that came out. We're going to try with a coarser sleeve. This is the inside of the machine. You can see our rotor right here. It has paddles that will splash the liquid against the sleeve. It has a ribbon flight that augers the solids towards the discharge down here. And so there's that assembly. And we're going to try a coarser sleeve. Okay, we're getting ready to go again here. And the difference, you can see right here, it's going much differently. Can you pour it in faster? That's our sample. Okay. Uh, they're taking it apart. We didn't get any sludge to come out the end because, oh, finally, when we tilted the machine way down. Here's what, uh, what we've got. Um, and that's what I'm after, that material in there. There we go. So that's what we collected. And that's what would have probably eventually come out of the end. I'm going to get baggies of it and run a moisture test. Okay, I tried squeezing it. I got a sample of this sludge from inside the sleeve here. And uh, I tried squeezing it in my fists. And I couldn't get anything, but I think you can see the particulate. We definitely were... Now, if we had a more dilute flow, if we added some water to this, I know we get more separation. Looks like there's still some fines in my hand. Yes, we've got our samples in the oven, uh, running moisture analysis. And uh, uh, something interesting here, I don't know if you can see there, that sample compared to this sample. That's, that's filtrate, 
And this is sludge that we scraped out of or scooped out of the sleeve after we took the machine apart after we ran our sample. Uh, from where I am, it's very clear that we've taken out a great deal of, you know, we don't have particles that I see there in, in the filtrate and the sludge, there's definitely uh, a lot of parts, uh, small particles.